This is to the government of Uganda. We need our people back. We need the dictator Museveni to step down. We need change in power and we are not contented with whatever is happening in Uganda. The discontentment. We need transparency in governance. This is too one of the most oppressing regimes of all time. This is one of the regimes that many have been killed. Many innocent people have been, have been killed. And there has never come a moment where the government of Uganda is concerned to try investigate the cause of their death, to investigate all the abductions that are being done. People wake up in the morning, speak up. It's all over social media, but we've never seen action taken against each and every person who we come out, at, who we come out with proof. People like Nabanja, who came out proudly and confidently confirming that he has, she has Chibalama in custody, and that in support of Ugandan government, that he's allegedly. On, 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 on a case of killing a police officer, but he has never given a fair trial. And so on. If we start mentioning names, we can never stop. We can take days and days trying to mention names of those that are killed. Those who are killed, sorry. Those who are abducted. Those who are in custody. They need a fair... It's a human right that you're depriving them of. It's their country that you're torturing them from. We need our people back. We need our people back. We are not contented with Museveni's governance. We need change. And Museveni plus all those people that believe in you and support you, stop torturing Uganda. You need to step down. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We, we have freedom of speech in Uganda. It is a right for us to speak about those things that we see not fit in the society. All we need is our people back and you to step down. 37 years for crying out loud. 37 years of doing nothing in power, but you're still greedy. Whoever stands in your way to say something. Whoever starts showing discontent is killed. Many have been abducted. How are we going to, how, when will we stop talking about that and we see action done? We need our people back. Nabanja, Twagala, either Omulambo, we need the body of Chibalama because you're accountable for his death or his missing because you came out and said that you have him in custody. You confirmed that without being forced. No one forced you to release that information. So if the government of Uganda fails to force this woman to bring Chibalama back, she should be accountable. She should be taken to court to present that person because it's a human right it's a human right for chivalama to get a fair trial he shouldn't be arrested with no trial you're violating human rights just like you've taken that 40 37 years in, in power violating our rights but now ugandans are awake we need our people back nabanja we need chivalama back if he's dead, we need his corpse. We need his body. Twa galomulambo guachi balama. Twa galomulambo guachi balama. Twa galomulambo guachi balama. And to the Ugandan government, all those that you abducted, we need them back because they didn't. They didn't do nothing wrong. They just spoke up. They just tried to show their discontent. This country is full of corruption. Uganda is now declared a dead state. We need our people back, period. <laughs>